What's up, guys, and welcome back Hi, to the Dave. channel. You want to see? Hi. Hi. Hi Tell them what we're doing. We are, we are going kayak in there. And we're going to catch some fish? Yeah. You're going to go with Mama in her kayak? And Jackson's going to go with me in my kayak? Yeah. And we're going to catch some big old fish, right? Hopefully. Yeah. And go home. And, and eat them. And eat them all up. All right. Nux. <coughs> boom. All right, guys, we're gonna get the kayaks unloaded and we're gonna get down there and get in the water, see if we can catch some catfish or bluegill. And if not, then we're gonna have a fun day on the water kayaking. But we'll see you guys in the water. there and get going hopefully catch some good old catfish to eat tonight for dinner i don't know if i brought my stringer or not so let's see if i can find it uh, nope 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 give me a push Hold on, we're going, Bubba. We gotta find something real quick, if we have it. If not, we'll have to improvise. Okay, we're gonna have to improvise and make a stringer later. But, for right now, Jackson, come on. Come here. Oh, you okay? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, ready? Sit down, sit down. I didn't make you fall. Right here, sit right there and right there. I got him. What? You gonna sit up here, come here. Right here. All right, guys. We are in. Where y'all want to go? Me and Jackson, we're just going to drop baits off the side of the kayak. Yep, they're beating us, Jackson. Coda, say cheese. Don't let nobody get my bait, okay? You wanna help me paddle? No. All right, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Say, look, mama, I'm helping. Help me. Uh, uh, uh. uh oh, we touched something there. We got a little bitty seven foot rods. Uh, this is a die with sea line on this rod. Hold on, hold on to the paddle. Hold it right there to daddy, okay? It'll be number four, four ounce sinker. Don't need a four ounce, but it's gonna work for today. All right, here we go. We gotta take our time. We're gonna hook our bait on there. So we're gonna hook it just like that, guys, right there. Four ounce sinker, just like I said. We're gonna drop it about, oh, we're just going to set it down in there just like that. Ow. Ow. Sorry. We're going to let it hit the bottom. And we reeled it up just a little bit. So basically what we're doing is we're float drifting. And if Jackson don't make us go everywhere, but we're going to float drift out here in the middle and see what happens. So Bye. Bye. All right, guys, same thing on this one. Just a little bit smaller hook on this rod. This is a Kuma Classic reel like i said we're gonna drop it down we're just gonna let those baits dangle show me your fish dang y'all caught a nice bluegill you touch them 
Hand him to Dada so he can use them for bait. You like our fish, JJ? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Okay, slide my fix my worm back to you. The dad had a late touch the fish. I'm catching it. I will. Okay. Hold on. Maybe y'all catch a big one. Look, touch it. See you later, alligators. See you later, alligators. Y'all have fun. We're gonna have to get you a chest cam, babe. I don't know. Uh, you hear me? Dad, dad, dad. That way you can record while you're over there, and I can record while we're Tell over here. Tell me when you catch a big one, JJ. Okay. Okay. Now that'll let you reel it in, huh? Not yet. <sighs> You ready? Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. Nope. You got it? All right. Oh, no bait on this one. All right. Hold on to that. But Daddy, put this head on there, okay? Look, that's good bait right there, Bubba. We're going to catch something. I have a feeling. Okay, there we go. Let Dad throw it out there, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we switched up on bait, me and Jackson did. We got bluegill on that one, a bluegill head, and we're gonna use our bluegill body section on this one. I'm just not a big fan of chicken. I ain't never had no luck out of chicken. And I'm just not a big fan of using chicken. Tell them, say, no chicken for us. But we're going to use a bluegill just like that. The body section and the head just right out there, too. So we're going to throw this bad boy out there and see what we can catch. What? Alrighty, guys. So nothing big, no fish at all today besides that one little bluegill that Brittany caught. And we're going to get her a chest cam. So next time that we are out on the water, she has a chest cam on her. But we're going to head over now to video our shot a little bit later, or earlier this year, back in the spring, to where I clean a flathead that we caught. So head on over, check it out. And this is the how to clean a flathead, clean all the belly meat out and everything. So check it out and just tell me what you think. All right, guys. So here's my flathead. Um, I've been letting them bleed out and everything, but apparently it didn't work very well um because he's still pretty much alive and he actually been in a cooler for like five six hours with no water or anything just sitting on ice but this guy is still alive and breathing this shows you how relentless these catfish are he's probably about a eight to nine pound cat bullet channel for, or um flathead but what i like to do is i find like that rib cage right there if you guys can see that is that rib cage line and then these things are so difficult because they don't they're like their heads are flat and blue cats and channel catfishes are round so what i do is i i hold them straight up and down like that sometimes it's better if they are i'm there i go finally breaking the skin and like i said if you guys got any tips or pointers on how to dip this better please let me know now it's going to take this whole side off now that piece of meat right there uh oh hold on time out phone call all right guys and that was nobody important so i think i did pretty good right there that's the backbone um really good spot there uh so other than that really good display that time thank goodness and as you can see that's a nice piece of meat and really good fish so here we go again so find those rib cages so it's like right there i don't know if you guys can see that well over that way but it's right here, the rib cage is. Um, this piece of 
piece of meat's trying to come back with me. Now it's just like working it down the. Now it's just working it off there. And another good piece of meat. I left a little bit on this side actually, so I'm gonna go back in there and get that. When cleaning these fish, you wanna try to get all the meat that you can. Don't wanna waste anything. And there's the backbone and everything of this big old flathead. Now, this is the part that I'm not very familiar with, getting the belly meat out. And guys, I'm sorry about all the blood, but this is part of it. So, um, hope you guys don't mind. You did click on this video. But, so, I've heard you start at the anal and cut up and around to get that belly meat out. But, that's what I'm going to work on doing, I guess. And I'm going to flip this catfish toward me so you don't see all of his guts and all that nasty stuff. But there is the belly meat. I'll get that inner midbrain off later. And then I'll skin them out later. But one flathead. Let's get all this out of here first before I start talking to you guys. Alrighty guys, and that is going to wrap up this video. So nice little kayaking trip. Didn't catch very many catfish at all, but we did have a great time. So uh, check it out. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Tell me if you like these kind of videos. Uh, but in the next video, we will be back on the lake catching some big catfish from the kayak. So stay tuned, stick around, go down there, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and leave me a comment and tell me what you want to see in the upcoming videos. As always, guys, God bless, live life to the fullest, and we will see you in the next one.